This is Harry Judd for Boxing Social. We're in Manchester. Ricky Hatton has just fought at Marco Antonio Pereira. It was as pe competitive as they were saying in the build-up, Blaine. You must be delighted with him. No, yeah, it was really good. Um, I think they've both done themselves justice there. Um, because you never know what's going to happen, you know, the training can all go, all go great. I said this here, didn't I? And um, once you get in that ring, you don't know if, it, if it's just going to be awful. I don't know, I'll just say it. But I thought they both did the self-justice there. Um, it was competitive, it was entertaining. Um, they was both landing some clean shots, you know. Um, yeah, it was really good. Rick enjoyed it. Um, spoke to Pereira, he enjoyed it. You know, it seems like the crowd enjoyed it. Um, everyone I've spoke to has, has had nothing but good things, so... What was he saying to you? In the, what were the conversations like in the corner? What were you saying to each other uh, during the break in between those rounds? It was more just pointing out the things he was doing wrong. So it weren't like, right, you need to do this, you need to do that. Do you know, it was more like, don't do this, don't do that. So, do you know, obviously with a full on a real fight, um, it's all about hurting the other guy and you know winning the rounds and 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 you're saying, right, you need to do this, you need to do that, and and it was more right. You know, you're falling in with your shots, just sit back a little bit, don't fall in with your shots. And so it was more what not to do, you know, to keep it looking good rather than what, what to do, if you know what I mean. You know? It was only eight twos, but are you surprised in how, because his style obviously has never changed and he fights like that throughout his whole career, but are you surprised in how good he looked in that ring after so many years out and he's just going behind us now? Yeah, we're not going to hear nothing now, are we? Um, what was that? His gas? Like his fitness and that? Yeah, his, his stamina, his endurance. Are you surprised with how good he looked in there? To be fair, after six rounds, I thought, right, I'm, I'm going to ask him how his gas is here because you know, I know how hard it can be after all that time out. You know, it's hard just to get in the ring and spa. So, um, yeah, it was... Go on. Right. Just turned you around here, Blaine, because... He's just walking behind you now. Just give me a look and see how proud you are of that man coming through here. Yeah, look, this is the reception it's getting, you know, so I think it's been a big success. Well done, Rick. How'd you get <laughs> A little well done there for Blaine. But yeah, going on just quickly then about him and the way he looked in the ring, you know, I'm surprised at how good he looks in there. Are you, Blaine? I'm not surprised, because obviously I've, I've been working with him in the gym um, and he's been training hard, but, you know, getting in the ring and fighting is a lot different to, to the gym work and the sparring. And so eight twos, if anyone's tried boxing, will know it's not it's not an easy feat. Tasha Jonas there just fought for the world title. That's ten twos. So he's only a couple of rounds before, behind that, and that's a world title. You know, one of the female fights. Um, after six rounds, I said to him, "How's your gas?" He was like, "Yeah, good. Are you enjoying it?" Yeah, yeah, I'm enjoying it. And I was like, "Yeah, it's perfect. This. He's loved it. So it's, it's done a lot of good stuff for him outside the ring." But I still think he'd have been major unhappy if it wouldn't have gone well inside the ring. Um, and I think that's just topped it off for him. You haven't got a chance to speak to him yet, but again, yeah, do you sense he's pleased with how... Again, you've not spoken to him, so I don't know if this is a dumb question anyway, but I, I, do you get the sense he's pleased in how the whole thing has gone come together? Yeah, yeah. And from what I've seen this week, I think he's really glad that he's done it with Barrera. Because um, they were friends anyway, joined and back in the day, um, and there was other names mentioned beforehand um, when they were first talking about him getting an exhibition, um, and I think it ended up the perfect opponent. Do you know that respect was there? They knew each other. Do you know? They, do you know? There were no liberties taken, but they did know they needed to entertain, and they was letting their hands go a little bit, and some clean shots were landing, and I think yeah. people enjoyed it. Yeah. I certainly did. Um, we have to speak about um, your other fighter, uh, Brad Ray. Um, disappointing to not get the win. We spoke uh, plenty of times on this fight. It was a fight neither man had to take. It was always going to be a tough fight. But just your reflection on that fight as a whole, mate. Um, the better man won on the night. Um, to be fair, I've watched plenty of videos of Tyler in the build-up to this. And I can honestly say that that's the best I've seen him. Um, I was quite surprised at how good he actually boxed. Um, Brad was just a split second off the mark today, you know. Tyler was just that little bit sharper, a little bit quicker to let his hands go. Um, you know, and, and then when Brad found his feet, it was a bit of a too little too late sort of thing. He hurt him in the ninth um, and could have done with put him in, putting him away, obviously, in that round. Um, but Tyler, he's got experience. Um, he's done the championship rounds plenty of times now. In other fights, I've seen him hurt and get through the rounds. 
um, and he's just done the same again tonight. I think experience played a big part in that tonight. You know, Tyler had experienced a few of the things that Brad brought to the table, and he dealt with them well. And then even when he got hurt, he dealt with them well. Do you know, he got the point took off for holding, but the holding stopped him getting stopped. So it was worth him getting that point took off because if he wouldn't have been holding and he'd have took another body shot in that round, he'd, he'd have been on the floor. Um, so just them little bits of experience like that, I think just work for Tyler and I know the BCB boys, we've worked with them a lot. They're all game, you know, they're all tough as they come. Um, they love a scrap and Tyler showed that tonight and they're on a bit of a good run then. You know, Liam Davis winning the English, Zach Parker's doing well. Um, Lennox Clark got the British and Commonwealth. You know they 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 spring in some upsets and obviously looking at before the fight that is a bit of an upset. Um, but Brad's obviously devastated. Um, I am, but I do think there's a lot of lessons to learn there for Brad. Um, we've spoke. You know after the fight we've had a good chat. He knows he can come again. I know he can come again. Um, and it's just a case of rebuilding. But tonight. Just the better man got the job done.